I can't wait to dive in. Let's, let's check out these sounds. Hey, I'm Nathan Walters, music producer, recording artist, and former boy band member. Back in the day, I was in a boy band called Plus One. We signed to Atlantic Records, worked with mega producer David Foster, and sold over a million copies. These days, I'm producing for others and making music for film and TV commercials. When I'm not doing that, you'll find me here releasing my own music, reactions, and unique approaches to music production. All right, so today I am going to do a reaction video to BTS. Mic drop, the uh, Steve Aoki remix. Um, you know, I heard Mic Drop uh, live a while back. I did a reaction video to uh, Mic Drop and I think it's called Run BTS or Run. I'm not sure about that, but it was two songs together, and that's the first time I heard Mic Drop. Um, so I'm looking forward to hearing the studio version, or at least the remix. I guess if this is the remix, there is a mic drop studio version, which I haven't heard. So, uh, yeah, let's dive in. Before we do that, thanks for liking and subscribing this video. If you haven't done it already, please do so. And uh, share this video or this channel with others. And thank you. If you're new to this channel, um, I like to do reaction videos where I react first. And then later, I go and dive in uh, to the audio files, which I've got right here. I went through and uh, got the audio files. These aren't the originals, but these are ones made with software that takes the, the original audio and splits it out into these stems so magically. So that's, so that's cool. As a producer, I love to do that. So we'll dive in. We'll listen to kicks and snares and vocals and things that get my attention as I react. But let's dive in right away. Here we go. Okay. Right. It seems like this is they're a lot younger than I thought here. I don't know when this was what when this was. Um Alright, cool. The the track's still awesome. Here we go. Look at this I like that visual with the microphone floating in the air. Here we go. Cool. Um, all right, yeah, production sounds great. You know, I don't know what to compare it to. I mean, I heard the the live version, which sounded live, you know, lots of screaming girls and guys in the audience, and that was actually pretty, pretty, I think I was pretty hyped up about that. Um, that was fun, but, uh, man, I, I should have listened to the original first, but this sounds really cool. I just know how much difference or how much remix it is, but it sounds great. So that helps me. I'm sorry, mom, but your son's killing it. Is that what he says? Uh, let me see that. Is that what he said? I think so. I'm, I'm sorry. Your, I'm sorry, mom. You're saying so That's right. They That that dun 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 uh that organ reminds me of a late nineties, early two thousands kinda uh, sound. It's cool. 
Synth organ. Cool. They all they look so different and young. Cool. Oh yeah. I'm having flashbacks. I remember when the crowd was like going for it and they had all those lights. Oh, this is fun. Cool. I get it. I, I get why they were so what now that 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 live reaction that I reacted to, um, or that live performance that I reacted to, uh means a little more now that now that I hear all these beats. So that's cool. Here we go. The 808 kick. Their choreography sounds like great. And somebody stop it. That's cool. I love the energy. Oh, and the and the trap, the 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 snare rolls and stuff. That's so cool. Uh, we'll dive into that soon. Oh, <laughs> that was cool. Uh, left, left, right. That was like snare rolls, like just like bunch of them put together to rip that sound. <laughs> This hits hard. Oh. Hearing hi hats in both ears. Man, his voice. I mean, he's like ripping up there. It's like a rap singing, singing rap. Here, let me back away. <laughs> RM, man, he looks so different. Man, so much energy. Oh, and I love the lighting work too. How the the light the in the video. Like, check this out. Goes out just for a second. That's cool. The dim right here, but you still see the light uh, going through that fan in the background. Love that snare. It sounds like a water drop. Boop. We'll look at that later. Epic video. I love that sound too. That that high pitch now. Even recognize who that is. They look so different. Okay, that's that's Jin. That's Jin. But who's singing this? Is it John Cook? He drops the mic. Cool. I can't wait to dive in. Let's let's check out these sounds. Let, where, okay, where do we, where do we dive in here? Let's pull up Logic here. Here here's the session. <laughs> we're 
we're hearing that track. We can isolate that. Let, 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 let's start with the drums. Let's isolate the drums. Here's some other drums. Cool. And let's add, uh, looks like the synths. Here, let's isolate the synths. These three files make up that synth and bass. Just sounds so much better with the drums together. All right, now let's go. Okay, let's, let's get to. Oh, it's so funny to watch them dancing like this with just not hearing their vocals. Okay, let's do uh, vocals a cappella. Let's check that out. Oh. Okay, so um, the way the software stemmed out these, it won't let me separate the vocals from the uh, 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 puts all the vocals together. Cool, that's fun. All right, let's check out the drums. Let's see what's happening in here during this part. Yeah, I love that kind of stuff. Those snare rolls. And it's like it's, if you get, if you have headphones on, you can kind of see this happening right here. You can like one's kind of panned here a little bit, and one's panned here where they they moved it to one side of the ear and on the other side. A little bit. It's small, but it's kind of cool. What, what else did I want to check out? Let's see. Oh, yeah. That organ part. Let me see if I can isolate that. Doesn't it remind you of like a uh, early, late 90s, early, maybe more late 90s? Gives me that feeling. Here, let me see. It's hard to isolate it completely. What happens is, um, if you're new to this channel, I talk about this, but um, when I when I make these stems with the software, it doesn't get it perfectly separated. But sometimes we'll we'll lump certain sounds together. So I have to play a few of these these files together to get to complete the sound. So you can hear a little bit of vocals in there with the organ. But anyway, okay, let's. Do this. It's fast forward. Here the kick starts coming in. Oh, here we go. I like that. Let's solo that. I like that. Uh, that's cool. Let's see that. Cool. And then I think later here the snare turns into like a. A water, yeah. Kind of a water sound, a little bit. It's cool. Is that snare at first? So he's rotating him. One snare has a higher pitch. Oh wait. Hi. Yeah, here's a good example. Right here, uh, the snare hits high, low, high, eh, changes. Anyway, instead of in just having this, instead of having the same snare happening sound, blop, blop, same tone. It's it's nice. That you, it feels like it's alive. It's like, do, 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 do. I mean, it's not doing that sound, but I'm giving high, low, low, high. Anyway, that's cool. For those of you trying to program beats out there, keep that in mind. Switch it up. Don't do the same samples over and over again. Cool. Oh, let me hear some of these uh, background voc or vocals that are happening. Sounds good. Just acapella. 
because you got the 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 rhythmic part of it's like it's like the beat you this could this could be another remix this is the nathan walter stevie aoki remix Oh yeah, I'm remembering now. I I want to hear that one part where uh, RM is singing. Yeah. Okay, let's solo, let's solo his vocal. I want to hear RM. Oh, that's cool. So that's cool. Okay, um, there's a plugin called Auto Tune. It's an effect. The world knows about it now. Um, Auto Tune basically. You can use it in different ways. It's you can use it if you're, if if you're singing and you're not quite hitting the note you want to hit, but you love the performance. You can go in there and take take your note that's just under their pitch and nudge it up, and you sound perfect, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Some people hate that and go, well, you know. People say a lot of people in the comments. I heard you. BTS doesn't use Auto Tune. I you know they do. The whole world uses Auto Tune. It the issue is, do they use it? Uh, tastefully, or do they use it as a crutch because they can't sing? And the answer is, we know BTS can sing. Do they use it sometimes? Sure, they do. And here's an example where they do, and this is for that, that this this effect that he's rapping. He doesn't need to sing uh, any note, but he is using it in a really cool way. Watch this. Oh, how many yells do we fly? Oh, keep- so he's just singing. He's just going woo, right? And so Auto Tune is tracking that and and going, oh, he must be trying to. He's trying to auto-tune him to the nearest note so you hear it going almost like a scale like it's on the camera it's kind of cool it's a cool effect so you know a lot of people when they when they rap they'll, they'll do that i don't know my voice is cracking <laughs> oh yeah in the track it just felt like I just felt like he, he's so aggressive. What's happening? Here we go. So many things going on in this track. Uh, it's hard to isolate it because they group it together, but you've got like more sense happening here with those organs boom 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 bring in some bass let's just do all the melodic stuff no beats no vocals Building. Here we go. That's cool. So even without the beats, this thing's building. So let's pull in the beats for that part because that was a really great part. Oh yeah. So the the kick four on the the kick is doing like a. Duh, 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 duh. Is that four on the floor? One, two, three. That's even more. Oh, that's a snare. Oh, there's the kick. Eight notes. That's cool, and I love here the pitch changes on that snare. Let's zoom in, and even slows down. It's not on, it's not on the beat. It's cool. Creates a little slow motion, a little moment of almost slow motion, and then the the rest of the track kicks kicks in. And the whole crowd. That's cool. Listen. What's that sound? Let's see if we can isolate that. Yeah, it's just some little cool, just a little 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 thing Steve found. Probably a vocal in the heat that he tweaked and made it do it. I love that bloop, that little snare. It's cool. Pull the vocals in. Oh, <laughs> got them muted. Oh, 
All right, and so that da 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 da. Let's see if we can find that. So yeah, I don't know what that's with. If he did a whole new sound, or if he took the da 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 the actual vocals and then pitched them up and tweaked them out, who knows? But it's cool that he kept that melody, but it's it's at a higher octave. <laughs> Of the little skips. I don't, know, I don't know what happened to my recording. All of a sudden, it gets louder. Some kind of weird thing happened during the bounce down. So here's here's the example. I love it when they do that. They're doing the octave. Da 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 da, and then someone in the background, many BTS members, la da 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 da. That octave really separates and creates this big wall of vocals. Cool. It's just fun to hear their vocals going by themselves. Huh. How fun. That's cool. Well, thanks for diving in and, and watching that with me. Uh, I hope that's not too boring for you. Let me know. Let me know if you like that. If you don't like this, that's fine. You don't have to watch this far. This is fun for me as a producer. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the love and the support. I feel it. I love this community that's growing. Um, thank you for all the subscri subscriber subscribers. Can't even say it. Yeah, it means so much that you guys comment and you, you know, you're so supportive of my journey of diving into the BTS world, which I've been doing for a few months now. Well, leave some more comments. I go through them and I really try to read all of them and I screenshot some of them where I'm like, yeah. I love that suggestion. I got to add that to my list. So keep doing that. Let me know any other bands or artists you want me to uh, react to like this. And I will take it into consideration. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.